You're watching Big Ty. Alright, back with another review. Today we're doing the Thor skin, the remake, but it's going to be called the Retro Review because now you can't get the skin. So instead of reviewing, oh, should you get it in the Battle Pass, we're going to review. Did you miss out? Did you miss out on the item? Um, this is a remake of the original review I did back in the day, but it is a retro review, my new thing that I'm doing. Um, I'm reviewing items that you physically can't get anymore. It's going to be impossible to get anything, only if they mess up and put it in the item shop by accident. But uh, for a skin like this, I don't think they would. But you never know. Um, so yeah, let's get in the review. Alright, we're doing the retro review. Let's do it. So we got Thor's hammer and the skin Thor himself. I got all the edits out so we can show them off. Uh, I probably won't do it for most of them. Because um, I think this is the only season that I want for the stretch goals, not including season 4. So, yeah, I can't really show those off. But, whatever. Let's do it. Let's pull out. I felt like when I was making my cap one, they, they changed the pull out, and I think they did. And it's faster now. Same, same speed as Kratos, I think. I think they just made these ones just faster. Because the bullet time was a little slower than normal. But I think they made them too fast. I love that hit impact though. That lightning is so cool. That's such a nice effect. Even though you can only use the flip door and cap, but it's still a cool effect. At least they made a lot more of these big so you can't use them all. Whatever skin, but you can't use the original. Whatever. Do shield. Very heavy. Without. Such a heavy pickaxe. It is a good pickaxe, but you can only use it with him. Kind of annoying. Um. Looks like I had to do this. Shit. Alright. And yes, I have his right. Every time you shoot, it does a little effect. More of an effect. ADS. Not too bad if you're just normally aiming down. I don't think that's bad. But when you start aiming down, it's pretty bad. Drop the shoulder back. Pretty fucking big. It's kinda in your way. I would say. The route. Pull up. Or pull up. <laughs> what am I still doing with that guy? Shield. Bandages. Mini. Slipfish. Juice. Kid. Big. And show you trick. Do the glider, it's his personal glider, you can use it with no one else. But you should be able to use the cap if you need cap. This one. Forward. Back. Left. Right. Not moving. Alrighty. It's a cool glider, but you can only use it with him, so it's pretty shit, <laughs> I would say. We'll show off Primal, and we'll switch to all the edit styles and show them off quickly. Alright. Primal. The 
it is that, that galaxy effect going on. The hits from wild. Uh, it is a galaxy effect going on, which is pretty cool, but it is a pretty shit door. I don't like this model. It looks like an elf more than anything. Um, I feel like they should have done something different. I feel like the outfit's fine. I feel like that's fine, but the face is not it. Um, I feel like they could have given him like the helmet or something. something cool. But I guess they wanted to show their store off, so. Oh yeah, and I get a show off the under of the cape. Um, it is, at the moment, red. Uh, if you can kind of see it, it's kind of hard to see. I can't really show it off that well. But, under the cape's red, I gotta show that off because every, every time you switch the style for it, it changes color. Depending on what style you pick for it, so I can show that off. But uh, yeah, let's switch over to the next style, the silver one. Now we have the silver one. So basically, just as armor gets silver, you can kind of, his armor gets silver, and under the cape is now silver and shiny. You can't really see it that well. He still has the galaxy effect going on. Um, that's really about it. His armor just gets more silver, and underneath the cape is just silver. So let's switch over to the gold one. So we have the gold one now. Um, nothing else gets the wrap or style, I guess. The peg axe doesn't. The wrap doesn't. Nothing. Um, only the skin in the back one. But yeah, you have the gold all around, same armor pieces, and then underneath, on the cape, it's a very faint gold, like, you can't really see it that well. It's even hard to see in-game when you're moving around. There it is, you can kind of see it there if I jump. See the gold right there on the cape? That's really about it, and then the little dot on the left. That's the only thing that really changed, but that's very minor compared to underneath the cape gold. Here's the hollow foil. So every time you move around, if you ever had a Pokemon card, and you move it around, it gets like that hollow foil effect. So every time you move, it changes kind of colors to a rainbowish hollow foil. Same thing, armor, cape, nothing crazy. Um, and then the little dot still gets that galaxy effect. Still has that blue. It changes with the eyes, nothing your face. Yeah, that's really about it for the styles and Thor himself. Let's get into should or did you miss out? Uh, let's go into battle labs and I will tell you if you did. Oh, actually, let me show off the emote first. Got a thunder. Just makes him do this. Oh, nothing crazy. Did on the all the styles you can do with uh, if you got the emote uh, from those challenges. No, they, I think they still were. That was just faces kind of blends in with the outfit and his hands though. Not terrible. I wouldn't I would say, but you know, pretty bland for an edit style. And then you do it again. Oh and his pickaxe. For the outfit. So yeah, let's go into battle labs and I will tell you if you missed out. Let's do it. We're in battle labs now and I will tell you did you miss out on the Thor skin in the C the chapter two season for Battle Pass. Did you miss out? Um, on the I guess the whole set technically, but I'm gonna mainly talk about the skin it's on there. And then I'll do it one more. Whoops. One more time. Just to show it off. Um, you got that from doing challenges after you got meal there, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember exactly, but around there, that's how I remember. You getting it. So, did you miss out? I'm gonna talk about all the styles too. Um, I don't remember the levels, I don't really give a shit. Uh, but you got those after a certain amount of levels, after tier 100. Um, I think it was like 105, and then you just kept, kept going up. Um, so did you miss on, on the skin in the set itself? I personally don't think you really did, only if you're a diehard fan. Even if you are a diehard fan, um, this Thor isn't the ones from the movies. So that's another thing. It's a pretty shitty Thor, I would say. Um, I don't think it captures the OG Thor everyone thinks about. Um, so I don't think you missed out. <laughs> uh, styles, same thing. It is just a level style. And it's exclusive to the skin. Um, well, I guess it's exclusive to all the Marvel skins, but mainly, you know, this style for Thor is exclusive to this one. So, um, did you miss out? Personally, I don't think so. I'm going to say that a lot with these retro reviews. I personally don't, never think you missed out 
Uh, only if you really like the skin, you're kind of pissed. So that could that could be a thing. But it is just the skin at the end of the day. Um, personally, I don't think you did. The only thing I think you might have missed out on is the hammer. Mainly because you can use it with cap. But that's the only skin you can use it with. Um, so if you really like cap and you wanted to use the hammer with him. And you missed out. Well, you can't. That kind of sucks. I see, I see the pain in that. That really does suck. Because uh, that, that's like a really cool thing to do, even though it only works with him and Thor. It's cool to use Thor's hammer with Captain America. That's badass. Um, should still use, be able to use it with everyone. That's another thing. Um, if you missed out, most of these items you can't use with anyone. The only things you can use with anyone is the backling on anyone. Any skin can use the backling and the wrap. Uh, but no one can use the glider. No one can use the hammer except Thor and Cap. And I set out it in the set. Oh, the contrail, I guess. But who gives a shit about a contrail? I didn't even show it off. No one gives a shit about contrail. Um, There's just battle pass fillers at this point. Um, so yeah, personally, I don't think you missed out. Only if you really want to use the hammer with Cap, or you really like the backling. Because after that, everything else is locked to him, Thor only. So cosmetic wise, I don't think you really missed out as much. Only if you're a diehard Marvel fan. And you like the comic that this guy was based off of, the Thor. Um, but personally, I don't see missing, you know, missing it on this is a terrible thing. Um, I think it wasn't a great battle pass, but, you know, if you really like Marvel, I think it was a pretty solid battle pass. That's really about it for this retro review. So, yeah. Sub if you liked the content. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Follow Big Tie on social media if you want to see random shit.